we are going to calculate the hydrostatic force that's acting on this rectangular plate when it is submerged vertically into the water. So just like this right here, here we have the dimension 4 feet by 6 feet, and then it's 2 feet below the water. Whenever we put something vertically into the water, we actually have to use integrations. If you put a plate horizontal like this, we don't need to use integrations because the pressure changes depending on how deep down you are underneath the water. So the deeper you are, the bigger the pressure will be. Down here, the pressure will be bigger than when you are up here. And we are going to make a connection between pressure and force. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. But then the question is, we are going to calculate the hydrostatic force. So we are going to look at force. It's equal to pressure times area. And what's pressure? Pressure depends on how deep down you are underneath the water, and it also depends on what kind of uh, liquid that you're dealing with, like water, milk, gasoline, things like that. But in this case, we'll be putting the plate into the water. So we are also look at the density of the water, and it also depends on the unit, just like the work. If we are using the feet, we multiply by 62.5. If the units over there that we're using is a meter, we multiply by 9.8 and 1,000. But then, that's pretty much the idea. However, we also have to multiply by the area, and that's the calculus part, the math part, I will say. Because here, we are going to come up with an equation for the area. That's usually the hardest part, and let's make that happen. And to do that, you look at the picture, and then we are going to consider a slice. Again, I'm just going to do a, a horizontal slice. And we are very lucky, because this is just rectangle. So if I make the horizontal slice, and because this is a small change in the y value, let me label this as dy. And I will need to find out, I will need to find out the area of this rectangular slice. Well, this right here, it's always 6 feet. It never changes, right? Because it's always rectangular. So that's why I said this is pretty easy, because we have rectangle. There's not much labeling that we have to do. So for the area, for this rectangular slice, it's going to be 6 times dy. That's it. And then we will also, let's look at the density first. Let's also multiply by the density. And here we are using feet, so I just need to multiply by 62.5. So let's do that. 62.5. Okay. And we also have to figure out the distance, how far down we are underneath the water. And now it requires some labeling. <laughs> Here. I would like to just place my reference frame the usual way, the most symmetrical way. Let me just put it right in the middle. So here it will be my x axis, and up here it will be my y axis based on my labeling. And according to my labeling, from here to here, from here to here, it will be y. So this rectangle is y distance above the x axis. How far down we are underneath the water? Well, here is 2. Here is 4, right? If you look at the, um, the rectangle only, the whole thing is 4. This much is y already. That means this much will be 4 minus y. But then we have to go 2, right? We have to add 2 to it because technically we, also, we are also like 2 feet down below. So the whole thing all the way from here to here is 2 plus uh, 4 minus y, so that's a 6 minus y. That's a distance. Okay? Or well, you can look at the whole thing 6 and uh, minus y, 6 minus y. Doesn't matter. Anyways, that's a distance. So we multiply by 6 minus y. And that's the force acting on this rectangular strip. So, okay, this right here. And now our job is just to integrate it from what to what? The very first rectangle is technically down here when the y value is equal to 0. So it's going from 0 up to what? Up to the very last one, which is only when y is equal to 4, right here. And this right here will give us uh, the force that's acting on this rectangular plate when you put the plate vertically into the water. And if you work this out, this is going to give you exactly 6,000. And then because we're using force, like this is force, the unit for force is pound in the um, US customary uh, unit. And this right here is the answer.